Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin Math TV. In this video, we will learn how to solve the system of equations by using matrix method. First, copy all the coefficients of the corresponding unknowns. We have three unknowns for this case, namely x, y, and z. Make sure the precision of all the unknowns are exactly the same. Now we should copy the corresponding coefficient. For the first equation, we have 1, 1, 1. If let's say we apply some product, we should obtain the constant 3. And for the second equation, we have coefficients 2, minus 1, 1. Constant 2. The last equation, 2, minus 2, 3. Constant also 2. We can let A be the coefficient matrix, which means that we have 1, 1, 1, 2, minus 1, 1, 2, minus 2, 3. First, what we have to do here is to obtain the transpose, which means that convert all the rows to the respective column. We have 1, 1, 1, 2, minus 1, 1, 2, minus 2, 3. Next is to obtain the enjoy matrix A, which means that we should determine the cofactor for each entry. To obtain the cofactor of the first entry, refer to the transform matrix, refer to the first entry 1, 1, remove first row and the first column. So we left 4 entries, negative 1, negative 2, 1, 3, and we just have to determine the determinant of these remaining entries. For the second entry, remove, remove, first row, second column. So we left 1, 1, minus 2, 3. Next, third entry, remove, remove, left 1, minus 1, 1, 1. Remove, remove, left 2, 2, 1, 3. Remove, remove, 1, 2, 1, 3. Remove, remove, 1, 2, 1, 1. Last row, remove, remove, 2, 2, minus 1, minus 2. Remove, remove, 1, 1, 2, minus 2. And lastly, remove, remove, 1, 2, 1, minus 1. And what we have to do next is to add the plus minus sign alternately. We should have plus minus plus minus plus minus plus minus plus. And next, we just have to apply the method to determine the determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix. Recall that if let's say for any matrix with four entries, for example, A, B, C, D, if you want to determine the determinant, we just have to take A times D minus B times C. So which means that if let's say we want to obtain the determinant of this M3, we just have to take A minus 1 times D3 minus B negative 2 times C1, and we should obtain negative 1. If let's say we want to speed up the process, we can make use of the calculator function, press menu, look for the matrix function 4, define matrix A, so we have matrix A, which is a 3 by 3 matrix, so we press 3 and 3. So we input the entries accordingly, we have 1, 1, 1, 2, minus 1, 1, 2, minus 2, 3. And next, press AC, press option, recall the matrix A3, take the inverse, and we times option down, look for determinant 2. Option, call again the matrix A. We have to bear in mind that since inverse of a matrix is equal to 1 over determinant times enjoy. So which means that enjoy is equal to inverse times determinant. So we press equal, we should obtain all the entries, which can help us to save time.
Next is to proceed to obtain the determinant. To obtain the determinant, we just have to copy the first row of the entries of transpose matrix. So we have is equal to 1, 2, 2. And then copy the first row of the entries of the enjoyed matrix. And we just have to apply product sum. So we have negative 1, negative 5, and 2. We have to sum them up. So we should have negative 1 plus 2 times negative 5 plus 2 times 2 is equal to negative 7. And we can now determine the values of x, y, z. What we have to do here is x, y, z is equal to 1 over determinant times n joint, which is the inverse of matrix A, and times the constant. According to the question, we should have 3, 2, 2. So we can write it here. 3, 2, 2. So this is equal to 1 over determinant, negative 7, and joint, negative 1, negative 5, 2, negative 4, 1, 1, negative 2, 4, negative 3, and times 3, 2, 2. When we apply matrix multiplication, remember to take row of the first matrix times the column of the second matrix, which means that we should have negative 1, times 3, remember to take the corresponding position. First entry, first entry. Second entry, second entry. Third entry, third entry. So we should have negative 1 times 3 plus negative 5 times 2 plus 2 times 2. And we should obtain negative 9. Don't forget we have the determinant here, negative 7. 1 over, and we should have negative 9. And for the second row, apply the same thing. So we should refer to negative 4 times 3. First, first, second, second, third, third. So we have plus 1 times 2 plus 1 times 2. We obtain negative 8. And the last row, we have negative 2 times 3 plus 4 times 2 plus negative 3 times 2, and we obtain negative 4. In other words, x is equal to negative, negative positive, so 9 over 7, y equal to 8 over 7, while z equal to 4 over seven and hence we done okay that's all for this video thanks for watching hope you like this see you